I am back in Canada. Unfortunately, when I got back to the van, at least one, maybe more mice had moved in. I'm halfway through the cleaning up process and I don't think I'll finish it before I leave again. So tomorrow I am hopping on a plane and I am heading to Arizona. Hi, welcome to this week's video. My name's Flossie. I live in this 1999 step van and this week I'm taking you all with me to a van meetup in Arizona. <laughs> That's the water. That's where we're going. That's, well, the snow. delayed but at least it's here at least we're flying I don't have to do anything else tonight but just arrive and sleep and eat Stupid if there's a driverless oh, car stupid. coming I'm through. I'm not stupid. He goes, but you you could you could get money. I said, I don't care about the money, I care about my, my health. Your body, my yeah. Body. Oh my gosh. They're like giant robots. And, and I don't know why the the city of Phoenix lets us start operating because also before, like I'm talking about five years ago. Yeah. There they ran over a lady in the bicycle. Oh, and that lady got killed by seriously. One of those cars in Tempe. No oh, way. yeah. I think I just keep taking taxis yeah. with actual real people. You, you'll be more safe. Yeah, keep real people employed. Me, me too. Me, I, I had such a wild ride getting here. So I left home, um, caught a plane from Nanaimo Airport to Vancouver Airport. And then when I was halfway there, I realized I had left my driver's license behind. And I was like, and it had been niggling on my mind. I'm like, oh, I should, because I'd just been traveling and my driver's license had been in my bag with my other stuff. I was like, oh, I should probably pull it out. Like, I might need that. And it just had never dawned on me that I'd also need it to pick up and keep my vehicle here. And so I'm now on the plane. Um, and my driver's license is back in my van. So there's the plane. The plane that's saving the day. Oh I have incredibly, incredibly amazing humans in my life. And we figured out that my driver's license could catch a float plane, a water plane, and meet me because I had four hours layover between my Vancouver flight to arrive in Vancouver and then my flight to get back to, to get into Phoenix. And so, <sighs> I'm doing this on a shoestring, guys. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I've got to get a van and then go and pick up some food go to a supermarket and just like resource up a little bit before I head out to Quartzsite. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited. It, and I'm in Quartzsite for a couple of days. Then I'm going to go across to the other side of Arizona and see Amanda. And I'm really freaking looking forward to seeing her. Um, give Frank some big cuddles too. 
So, yay, I'm here and I'm in Phoenix. Who would have thunk? Wow. I'm on the road and of course the first place I'm gonna stop is Walmart <laughs> for food and because I want to get a boom bucket so that I can be self-contained that's important to me um, yeah I'm in Arizona I'm in the US <laughs> Expected, but we are on the back roads. I have just stopped in, I got some groceries, and I managed to find a bucket so I can use it as a toilet, which is awesome. And now I'm heading back to the freeway, I think. I hope. I'm heading back for the freeway so that I can get moving and actually cover some serious distance to get to where I need to go. I've got some GPS coordinates. Hey, look at that. I have some GPS coordinates and we're going to Van Life Pride. We're going to meet a whole nother load of van lifers out in the middle of the desert. And I'm a bit bummed because people have been arriving since two days ago and I'm only turning up halfway through Saturday. So I'll get half of Saturday, all of Sunday and probably half of Monday to hang out but you know what I made it there and it's gonna be cool to make connections and meet a couple people sure it won't be the whole time but it's better than not going at all oh my gosh like I wanted to go last year and I really wanted to make it happen but I didn't have the money to come down and I didn't have a vehicle that could have made the trip down and I was tied up financially uh, with work so this year is a little different. I have some flexibility. Um, I'm only here for a short period of time, so my costs are really low. I hired this camper van, which is dirt cheap. Um, the cheapest thing I could find. And we're here. We're gonna come and enjoy it for a couple of days and then go see Amanda. So, wow. Starting to see cactuses. Cactuses. Look at them! Very cool. I'm in bloody quartzite! Holy moly! Yeah, this is not where I thought I'd be! I mean, I planned to come here, but... Well, here we are! Another couple of miles and I'll be there! Look at the colors on my bonnet and I'm like, I'm going to be a little rainbow coming into camp. Oh, I'm so excited. So freaking excited to be here. Yay, I found it. <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped. I wish I had my own van. I wish I could have brought Siren with me. Some epic vans here. Campers and stuff. Up there. So in 600 cool feet, your destination thing. will be on the left. Yeah, no shit. My destination is on the left. It's here. I want to go towards quiet camp. Let me hook myself in here. Yeah. guy. It's called Patches. Isn't that the cutest name for a little vehicle? I'm pretty stoked. We've had a beautiful windy kind of cloudy overcast day at the first day of the event that I've been here because I was a day late. But we made it which is better than not making it at all. And I'm making new friends and it's daunting being around 
people when you don't know anybody. Like, the step from friendship from no friends is a lot. So, there we go. the inside of the van and I was really cold yeah I had a bit of a shitty night's sleep because this van is a stupid blanket and it was very cold outside but look at that pretty spectacular and I was real cold inside <laughs> I'm gonna have to get another blanket. I wish I was in my own home, not a van I was borrowing. It would make life a lot easier. But then I wouldn't be here because I wouldn't have been able to make it. My van, I wouldn't have had enough time to drive it down right after coming back from the Southern Hemisphere. The days that I did spend back home I spent cleaning up after mice because <laughs> a couple of mice moved in in my absence, which is not really that surprising, but it's really freaking annoying. Anyway, I can't believe I'm here. I'm tired. Look at all my new friends. Just been at potluck lunch and then some resource sharing chats for folks on the road. Which has been really, really special to have support and talk about stuff. How often do you get to meet up with this many people and exchange information to support each other? I think you kind of have to be at groups like this where you have some sort of common interest to make that happen and I feel very lucky to be here very lucky still frustrated that I don't have my own step van here and that I'm in a rental vehicle but I'd ra way rather that for a few days and be here physically myself and then next year I'll, I'll have the liberty I'm gonna make it happen to take my van with me to a lot more places which will be amazing I am manifesting this for myself. Yeah. And there's a step fan over there with some people I met and now my friends. There's all sorts of 
vehicles here. People in cars, people in tents, people in RVs, people in ambulances, people in little things, people in big things, people in hand elements, people in trailers, people in school buses. It's so cool! You know how I was whinging about this van before and how much I'm not enjoying it? Partially because the kitchen's out the back and I can't access it if it was like yesterday when it was raining and windy because these doors open sideways. And the battery's dead, so somebody's very kindly lent me this so I can charge my phone. Here's my very messy countertop and my toilet. And hooray for being able to charge my phone. People here are being so lovely and nice. My hair looked so windblown. Doing that thing where you use water as your hair styling pro product, which is great for curly hair. It puts a bit bounce back in it, but I'm sure it's full of dust. <sighs> People here have been absolutely lovely, and it's been so nice to meet so many folk. And I was really nervous coming into it because I was like, I don't know anybody, and. I get really shy and in my head sometimes and self-conscious and I think I have used all my extrovert energy that I have for a whole year in like one maybe two days. <laughs> I'm gonna be so tired. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing Amanda, somebody who I know and I'm used to and familiar with so I don't have any of those extra like feelings. Taking a little break for my mental health and deciding to go for a little walk amongst all of this beautiful scrub. I should probably be careful for rattlesnakes and maybe spiders? I don't know! I feel like I've perked up a bit after my groggy, sleepy, grumpy morning. <sighs> I think I could spend all day just like wandering around. Oh, this is fresh new growth. Did you say you know the name of it? Yeah, Ocotillo. Ocotillo. O C O T I L O. And that's a type of cactus? Ooh. I don't know if it's technically in the cactus family. Uh, this really close one here is uh, is creosote. What? Creosote? creosote? Isn't that the stuff that gets in your chimneys? Same word, but different, different, uh, different meaning. Yes. And this phallic fellow. Buckthorn choya cactus. That's so cool. Yeah, it's got it's got these spines, but but real small little stems. Oh, I just love how. These are so small at the bottom. And then I saw one earlier, it was like completely hollow in its outer shell. Yes, yes. So, so this is the saguaro cactus. Yeah. What a beastie. Rather large. They sprout their first little arm when they reach about 60 years old. 60? If we go over there. Hello, cactus. Hello, moon. Palo Verde and this the oh it's got like these are the tiny tiny leaves what this is a also spiky spiky thing most of the stuff out here doesn't want you to eat it so it's all really dicks to you <laughs> plants can be dicks sometimes yes a barrel cactus I'm learning all the things oh and there's another one here next to it oh it's got a flower uh, it'll actually be like, like blossoming. Wow, that's so pretty. And this is, uh, did we see this one here that's already? More of the bug form, yep. See, this one really looks like a barrel. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Around, around most toya, Ooh. give it a, a wide berth because they, they'd all, they drop, they drop whole limbs. Oh, really? And so when you step on one piece of the limb, and it's all craggly, so it'll end up jumping up and hitting you. Wow. You say this is a prickly pear? Yeah. This is a prickly pear. This is a very tiny prickly pear. Yeah. Uh, it is. It is. It is uh, we it might have some desert shape. turtles out here eating it. Turtles? Yeah. You say What? Yeah, desert you have tortoises. desert tortoises? Yep. Oh my god, you guys are all blowing my mind right now.
sheep here. Mountains. Jackrabbits? What? Oh. What is a Cotamundi? I'm really enjoying this guided tour, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I'm learning a lot about the desert that I didn't know. It's cool. Then there are humans. Oh, this is very cool. It's like, oh, is a te teddy bear thing you call it? I believe this is a teddy bear toy. Yeah. Oh, look, it's got a flower. Yep. Yes. Oh my gosh, I would love, I've seen these a lot. I would have loved to get one across the border, but I really don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> so pretty. Wow, it feels like bone. It's like that. Yeah. Which piece? Oh, it's so beautiful. Somebody potentially maintains it quite regularly then. Does that taste smell good? Were you trying to step down sunset? Uh huh. Yeah, I was. I am. <laughs> It's freaking beautiful! Come and have a look, because the sun is right behind this cactus. Yeah, so pretty. I missed my step van! Yeah. I got... Okay, <laughs> okay. So I don't freeze from my step fan friends. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so much nicer. Last night I was so darn cold. I don't even know if I slept. It is very beautiful out here now. Very, very beautiful. And getting a little cold. Look at those patches. It's gorgeous. It's my little home in the desert. And it's about to get real cold. <laughs> It's time to say goodbye. Oh, all these wonderful humans. It's been so lovely being here. Bye. You look great.
great. Thanks for having such an amazing gathering. It was lovely to meet so many folks out here. And oh my gosh, I still feel so surreal that I'm here. My nose is a little sunburned. My lips are definitely wind chapped and sunburned. Life is just a wild adventure. I never thought this would happen, but this is the reason I moved to the Northern Hemisphere to come and do shit like this. Yay! 